Hi guys, this is Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Now I was walking in Walmart and in this section they have these table mats and I thought that they could definitely make some hats. You have this color which I used in the video and they also have this color and this one and they have this one as well. So we do have some options in which we could choose to make our hat and they're $1.96. Now to get started we'll take our table mat, we'll turn it over and you will be able to see the ending point where they ended the table mat and we'll cut from here and it's very easy to take apart this table mat. So get a razor blade and we'll just cut the thread and once you have a few thread cut it's easy to pull it apart like this. Now you'll go from in front and you'll pull the thread out. Now at the beginning there's two threads so you'll pull the second one out as well. Now from here you pull the one thread and the whole thing will unravel which is pretty cool and easy to do. Now while we are unraveling the thread we want to roll up the cord so that it keeps straight and it doesn't get tangled up. Now you could wrap it on any piece of cardboard or anything like that. Just get something to make sure that it stays straight. And now we'll keep unraveling the mat. Now for the first hat we'll stop here because we want to have the top of the hat. So now let's go over to the machine and start sewing up our hat. Now I'll start from the center point and go out like this just to make sure that all of it is nice and tight. As you could see if you use it like this you could pull one thread and the whole thing comes out. So I want to make sure and have it stitched really nice and tight. You don't have to do this but this is what I'm going to do. So I'll start from the middle and come out. Now if it's not wide you could continue sewing until it's wide as much as you like it. So the edge of the presser foot goes against this wheel and the inside of the presser foot goes against this wheel. And that would give us perfect needle placement. As you see it goes right to the very edge of the weave. Now I think this is wide enough so I'll start going down on the sides. Now to do that we want to turn this edge up to the machine and we could pull on this a little bit so that it gets tighter. Now we're watching the same things on the side, the edge of the presser foot to the edge of this and make sure that we keep that width all through because the cord is very narrow. As you could see now it starts to curve. Now we'll continue holding it up to the machine like this and continue sewing. Now I'll continue sewing for a little while and come back. Now we could stop and try on the hat and see if it's the size that we want. So I'll go and try on the hat now and we'll see how it fits. Now if you like the size of your base, we could take it to the machine and continue sewing. Now we'll cut out the extra piece right here so that we could use a tighter braid to go around the starting point. Now we'll use this piece later on to make an earring. Now to make the rim of our sun hat, we'll take our curve piece and I found it easier and much cleaner just to take the curve piece and place it on top of our existing piece and continue sewing. Now when you're making the brim of the hat, you want to take the top part of the hat and lay it flat against the machine so that we could start getting the wide part of the brim. And this is how we achieve that. Now to make sure that the brim stays straight, you want to push the weave that we are sewing so that we have somewhat of a gather. But not showing the gather but it would be there to help us later. Now we only do that with the beginning, afterwards we could sew the braid just as it is. Now we'll keep adding the braid and continue sewing. Now once you get to the end you could try it on and see if you like it. Now this is it with two mats so if you like this look then you could do two mats and that would be fine. But I'll continue sewing so I'm adding another mat just to see how that looks. Now 
Now, once you're finished, you could try on the sun hat and see if you like this size. This is three mats and you might like to stop it, but I'll continue sewing. I like the way that this looks. This is four mats and I'm done here. Now, if you want it larger, you could continue going. Now I'll show you how we ended the mat. All we do is cut off the extra piece here and now we just push this piece underneath and make sure that you have a smooth finish and just sew across. Now we'll turn to the back and cut out the extra braid. So you have options for your sun hat. Whether you want to use two mats, three mats, or four mats, leave it in the comment section down below which one you prefer. I would love to know your thoughts. So thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. You have a blessed and awesome day. Now if you like this video, you may also like these as well. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.